Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this documentary type location animation inside of After Effects. Now it's very easy to create and you can use these kind of animation inside your documentary edits or product reveals or wherever you want. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and I've already imported a couple of these images. So these are just some monuments that I downloaded. Now it's completely up to you. You can use whatever images you want. It can be product, location or whatever you want. Also, I have downloaded this texture which I'm going to use. Now I will put a link in the description from where you can download this texture for free. Otherwise, you can import whatever texture you want. So first we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080. Frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now we are going to create another composition for our image. So let's call this one image one and as all things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now inside this we are going to drag our first image. So which is this one. Let's scale this down quite a bit. Now first we are going to create our shape for this one. We are going to use a semicircle. So let's select the ellipse tool and I'm going to just simply click and hold on the shift key and control key. To create a perfect circle like this now we can set the stroke to zero and fill we can set this to 100 like that also make sure that its anchor point is in the center so you can hold on the control key double click on this pan anchor tool now its anchor point is in the center now we can select this and let's move it down so that it is at the bottom of this composition you can probably zoom in and let's place it over here now you can do this step precisely so that this is completely at the bottom we can probably press s to scale this up quite a bit like that now our next step is to make this image like appear through the circle only so for that we are going to use the trackpad option so let's select this layer and i'm going to just pick whip and select this layer so now it is visible throughout the circle now in case you are using the older versions then you won't have this pick whip instead you will have like alpha matte alpha inverted so just place the circle on top of this layer and then under the drop down select alpha matte now we can select this image and let's press s and we can scale this down quite a bit like that now here is a quick tip if the you can see we are able to see some ed gaps at the edges now to fill that you can search for motion tile effect let's drag it onto this and just select the output height we can set this to 150 and height to 150 as well after that uncheck this mirror edges now you can see it will have these edges gone now we can scale this up and just place it wherever you want so for this example i'm going to like make it like that so yeah this looks good to me so we are done with our image one now in the same way we can create composition for other images as well so for that we can select this press ctrl d to duplicate this let's duplicate it like four times because we have four images and uh, let me just quickly rename them so now you can see we have four images and let's select the image comp 2 now we can select this image and we are going to replace it with this image too now in order to replace this all you have to do is just hold on the alt key or option key on mac and just drag and release on this image now you can see it has swapped itself with the new one we can again scale it down and let's just place it like that now since we already have the motion tile effect you can see it will automatically fill these gaps so let's just play around with it yeah i think this looks good to me now in the same way let's open up the image 3 and let's select this hold on the alt key and let's drag it over here perfect this looks good to me let's do the same thing in the fourth one as well maybe we can place it over here so there you go now we have created our fourth comp as well now we can go back to the main one and we can import all of them inside this perfect so before we begin if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to all the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon along with that you can also get access to the advanced cga and vfx tutorials that are available only on patreon so you can check it out all the details are in the description now let's continue let's create a background so for the right click let's add a solid and for the color i'm going to make it like a little bit yellowish very light yellow sort of thing Let's place it over here. Maybe we can apply fill to this to control it more. So let's apply fill. So let's drag it fill and I'm going to quickly change its color to something like that. Yeah, I think this looks good to me. Perfect. Now we can select all of these layers and let's move them away. So here we have our first image. Let's select the text tool and let's add our text as well. So let's type india and i'm going to quickly change its color for the font i'm using this block birth hold bq font but 
it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever font you want. I'm going to quickly change its color and let's align it to the center of this comb. Also make sure that its anchor point is in the center. So you can hold on the control key and double click on this. Now let's press S and let's just scale this up. Let's align it over here. Yeah, I think this looks good to me. Perfect. Now first let's begin by animating this only. So first I'm going to select this pan anchor tool. Now select the image one comp and I'm going to move its anchor point in the bottom so that we can easily animate its scale. Let's animate it by adding a keyframe and let's move it like a little bit ahead. In the beginning, I'm going to set this to zero. So let's select them, press F9 and let's go to the graph editor. And if your graph looks different, make sure you're using the speed graph, not the value graph. Also, I'm going to select these points and let's make it look like that. So here you can see we have this animation. Uh, let's just move it over here. So if I press play, you can see we have our first animation. Now, after this, I want these to like rotate and reveal all the other locations as well. So for that, we can use a controller. So let's right click and let's create a null object. And I'm going to place it at the bottom so that it rotates around this point like this. Now, all we have to do is just play around with its rotation. So let's add a keyframe. And now first I'm going to select this image and let's parent it to this null. At two second mark, we can make it like rotate 180 degree. So I'm going to just type 180. Now at this point, we want our second image to appear. So let's just place it over here. Now, if I parent it at this point, you can see it will automatically parent. And as I'm moving backward, it will go back to its original location, which is at the bottom. So this comes up after that we want it to stay. So just copy it and just move a little bit ahead and just paste it. So it will stay for this time. And after that, at this point, we can again add 180 to this. So 180 plus 180, which is 360. So now if I press play, you can see it is revolving. Our second image comes up. And after that, again, the first one comes up. But we want the third one to show up over here. So all we have to do is just go to this point. We don't want the image one to appear now. So we can trim this and instead at this point, we want our image three to be. So let's add it over here. Also, let's now we can parent it to this null object and let's move it back so that it rotates like that. Now, in the same way, we can go over here and let's just copy this keyframe and let's add it so that we have a little bit of hold over here. And after this, again, we can go a little bit ahead and just add 180 to this so that it again rotates and just move to this. Now at this point, we want our fourth image to appear. So for that, we can just simply trim the second image like over there. So all you have to do is just hold on the Alt key and press the right square bracket like that. And at this point, we can move our fourth image, which is this one. And let's just parent it to this null. So here you can see now we have all of these images aligned. So we have our first image, then the second one, then the third one and then the fourth one. If you want, you can play around with the timing of these as well. I think this looks good to me. Now we can select all of these keyframe, press F9 to ease them. Let's go to the graph editor. Now I'm going to make all of them look like this. So now my easing is done. And you can see we have this very amazing and beautiful animation like that. So now we are done with our, all the animations. Our next step is to animate the text as well. So the text part is also very easy. All we have to do is just simply select this text only and let's add other text as well. So first image is India and next is Paris. So let's type Paris. And the next one is New York. So let's select this and I'm going to just press enter and enter again. Let's type New York. Again, let's press enter, enter, and let's type our last location, San Francisco. Now we have all of these locations. Now in order to make them appear, what we can do is we can create a rectangle by simply clicking and dragging. Let's add it over here. Let's align it to the center as well. Now we can make this text like on top of this. Perfect. Now we can animate its position by simply pressing P. So let's add a keyframe. So in the beginning, we can add a keyframe to this point. And in the beginning, we don't want this to appear. So, so all we have to do is just place it down below so that it is not visible inside this layer. Now we can select these keyframes, press F9 and let's go to the graph editor. And I'm going to change it to look like that so that the text appears. Now at this point, we want the text to change to Paris. So all we have to do is just like move it up so that the second text comes up like that and then it stays over here 
so just copy this keyframe paste it and at this point we want our third text like that just copy this and just paste it over here and at last we can have our last text so just move it to this point and maybe we have to increase the size of this so that this is completely visible like that so now all we have to do is just select all of these keyframes let's go to the graph editor and we have to change their easing as well so let's select them press f9 and all we have to do is just make them look like this so now if i press play you can see we have our first text then the second text then the third one and at last we have the fourth text perfect so once you are done with everything our next step is to make this text appear only so for that we can all we have to do is just simply select this and just select the track mat and just set it to this like that so here you can see now only the text will be visible when it is coming through this red box like that now in order to enhance it more we can add a little bit of colors to this so let's add tritone effect to all of these images so for the first one let's add tritone effect now over here you can select the mid tone and just change it to whatever color you want i'm going to make this one like blue so let's keep it over here now let's copy this and just paste it onto the second one which is paris so for this one we can make it like a little bit pink just copy this and for the third one let's paste it yellow maybe again these are completely up to you however you want and let's just make it a little bit dark perfect now we can play with the text as well so in the beginning all you have to do is just select the text make sure to just select this text and let's pick some of the colors from here maybe this is too dark so let's just make it light yeah i think this looks good now let's go over here make sure that only the paris text is selected let's select this pink sort of color now let's select the new york text and we can pick some color from here there you go now we have added all of these colors and now if i press play you can see all of these are animated and coming up nicely perfect now at last we can add some texture to this so let's drag the texture onto this so in order to change its mode let's set this to screen for now and if i press play you can see we have added some really nice texture to this also we can do one more thing to make it more stylized let's add an adjustment layer and on top of this we can apply posterize time let's drag it onto this and under the frame rate i'm going to set this to 12 now it will give us this hand-drawn sort of choppy frame rate like this and yeah this looks good to me we can probably duplicate this so that it keeps on going like that now there is one more thing that you can do it's completely up to you so as our text is coming we can have a little bit of gaussian blur so as you can see the paris is coming so we can have a little bit of gaussian blur onto this solid so if i uncheck and just add it so it will add this very nice fade in the at the bottom we can do the same thing with the main comp as well all we have to do is just simply draw this and let's just set this to white or maybe we can set it to this color and let's apply gaussian blur to this make sure that this is unchecked and let's increase it quite a bit and after that we can like place it at the bottom and let's press t and play around with its opacity let's lower it down a little bit like that now if i press play you can see at the bottom we have added this very nice haze which make it like a little bit more stylized and we are done with our final animation and the best thing is if you want to change the any image all you have to do is just go inside whatever composition you want just simply select this and hold on the alt key and just replace it with whatever image you want like that and after that you can go back to the main comp just change the text play around with the timing whatever you want so this is how you can create this kind of documentary style location animation and you can use this for not only location but for products or whatever objects you want in this way you can create these kind of animations also the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description also if you are interested in learning some new advanced cgi and vfx tutorials then those are available on my patreon as well so you can check them out as well all the details are in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Oh, 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 oh,